Hi guys, Jen here with my 37 week bump date. Hi guys, so I am 37 weeks pregnant and yes, on the very, very downhill stretch now, not long to go. Um, I am definitely feeling it. Probably a bit over this last week, more so I am really, I'm really struggling. Like anytime I can get the kids to pick up anything, um, you can probably see some stuff still on the ground. I get them to pick it up. I just, I can't keep bending down and getting up all the time. Um, it's killing my back. It's killing everything. <laughs> so I'm just really um, on struggle street. I never felt so, um, what's the word? Over it. I am definitely over it at the moment. Um, but I know I'll miss it once it's gone. The pregnancy that is. Um, yeah, so anyway, a couple of things that happened this week is I used a blunt razor to shave under my arms. I realised halfway through, I was like, okay, yeah, this is a bit blunt. But I continued on like I would usually and then chucked it out. Uh, but this time, um, because I'm pregnant and more prone to infection, that's just how most people are, but especially me, um, I decided to, my body decided to get a couple of pimples under my arm. And um, in particular, I got one under each arm that was quite big and lumped and nasty it was like more like an abscess so that was really really horrible um i've ended up yeah so between last week and this week i ended up going to the doctors and they were like oh we'll just give you antibiotics and i was like no i want you to drain it or pop it or something because i know there's stuff in there and it's it was way too deep to, because it was right in the middle underneath way too deep to pop so anyway ah way too deep for me to pop so anyway um they put local anesthetic in which absolutely killed <laughs> um to numb it and then um he pretty much just stabbed it <laughs> and squeezed it all out so i'm so so glad that he did that and then afterwards he said yeah i didn't think there would be that much i don't think it would have cleared up by itself with antibiotics so i'm glad i did that so i did I ended up popping the one that was really inflamed one day and then did the other one the next day and I was um, on a five day course of antibiotics and now I just have these two tiny lumps that don't even hurt and are starting to get smaller and smaller so I'm very happy with that but that also meant that I had to cancel um, the float that I was going to do um, in the float tank which was a bummer but I will go again I think in a few days. Um, yeah, so I'll still get to make that one up. I've also gotten got the Maxi Cozy capsule. I think it's the most recent one, most up to date one. Um, to hire, uh, I'm still waiting um, for them to get an extra base back because we're going to have a base in uh, hubby's car and my car, so um, it's just going to be nice and interchangeable. I'm really happy with the Maxi Cozy. I'll have to wait and see how it goes. Um, when actually having the baby but it seems to be I think I've made the right choice so um, yeah we'll be hiring that at least for six months so I'm happy I've at least got that and it's something for the baby to come home in I've uh, quickly packed the baby's hospital bag so because we don't know what sex we're having um, I've just got a few girly stuff and a few unisex stuff um, and after we have the baby if it happened to be a boy because we have two girls then I will end up getting more boys and I had midwife appointment and um, my iron levels were checked last time or well, I got the blood test and the results are that my iron levels have started to come back up a bit which is probably due to like I have eaten a little little bit more red meat um, but I have been having way too much Milo lately and there's plenty of iron in Milo along with sugar and other stuff but um I think I'd have to put it down to the Milo, my ridiculous amounts of Milo. I do like Milo, but it's not something I usually have um, because I really can't help myself. But considering I need to get my own levels up and my platelets fine and all the rest of the, that sort of thing, I thought I'd do that with a combination of um, meat as well because I haven't been able to take iron tablets. They just really 
cramp my stomach and upset it uh, while I've been pregnant. So yes, it's really good that that has been all right. And baby's still head down and going all right there. So that's good to hear. And apart from that, I have just been really, really needing to lie down more. Like I really need to nap every day and my back hurts. I guess I just feel really unfit and fat and wobbly. I just, yeah, I feel so, I don't know, I just feel like overweight. <laughs> I guess I am. But um, I try and keep moving and of course I've got two kids to look after so I can't completely sit still. But I really, yeah, moving I'm finding harder to do and I'm definitely waking up still like I don't sleep very well but I'm definitely waking up still very stiff and sore which is crap it's like it takes me a few minutes to get moving like I have to like shuffle my legs type thing and then I've got my movement back and apart from that I um I have noticed like down the middle my stomach's a little sore like so I hope that my muscles aren't separating too much I have never had trouble with proper muscle separation or anything like that in pregnancy but you know this is my third pregnancy so you never know what's going to happen and I've also been experiencing a lot more Braxton Hicks like a lot more tightenings on my stomach um not painful just there and sometimes they wake me up so yeah so I'll leave it there for this update and yeah I hope you enjoyed this update please leave any comments below or anything that you have that's helpful tips towards the end of a pregnancy I always, um, doesn't matter how many pregnancies you've had, whether it's your first or your last, there's always something you can pick up new um, that can help you out. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave you with um, my belly shot and I will see you for my next update, hopefully. <laughs> okay guys, bye. Bye.